Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day 17 of Inktober 2022. Today's tangle is called Lolly Wimple, cute name, and it was created by Sandy Hunter, who is a certified Zentangle teacher. So for Lolly Wimple, I'm starting out on um, just a printed calendar that you can find on my Facebook page called Let's Tangle. And I'm going to do a simple form here, and then I'm going to add it to a large collage tile that I'm creating on a bigger piece of paper. Okay, so for Lolly Wimple, we're going to start with a pencil, and we make two parallel lines. I'm just making mine in a little bit of a curve. And then we put circles of different sizes all along each line. Sorry, my pencil's rolling all over today. So we can do some medium circles, little circles, larger, Just kind of vary the sizes, putting them pretty close together. And then we start by auraing each circle if we can. So we're auraing on the inside and not the outside. So I'm gonna start at the pencil line. I'm gonna aura this way and stop. So it's basically a half aura. In the next one, I can only do part of it because it's bumping into that. And each time I just go down to the pencil line if I can. And then I do the inside of this group like that. So now I need to fill up the middle. And to fill up the middle, you just start picking random ones to half aura. So I could do this one. And that one. And I'm just basically going to fill up this space by letting them all start to bump into each other. Just like that. And then if you'd like to go back and fill in the pencil line in between the circles, you can. Like that. And then if you erase, I don't know if mine is dry enough to erase, but if you erase that pencil line, that's what it looks like. It makes a beautiful border. Okay, that's basic lolly wimple. Let's see if we can play with it a little bit on my big piece of paper. So for my larger paper, I switched to a Micron PN plastic nib pen. Zoom out a little bit so you can see what I've got going on here. Let's see. Okay, so that's days one through 16. And today we're adding 17. Okay, zoom back in. Okay. So now I'm going to add Lolly Wimple, and I'm using my thicker pen, and I'm going to start with my pencil again. So because it's a border, I'm drawn to put it, you know, against an edge, but I kind of want it to go through the middle. And I'm curious about filling up this space around um, what was this one called the um, slide hat so I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right here and try to let it kind of bump into that a little bit okay turn my paper and I'm gonna make a line there and there and if I'm brave enough, maybe I'll make it come out here. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I only get to do one edge. The other one's going to be buried, but that's okay. Okay, now I start adding my circles. 
I don't know why this seems so scary to me, but it's such a commitment putting pen on paper. So remember to make yours different sizes and they can bump into other tangles or go behind. And I'm wondering if it's better to fill in the pencil line before I do my auras. So let me see. And you're just letting them go behind other ones. It's gonna make this a little bit busy over here, but that's okay. I'm gonna imagine no, I'm not. I'm just going to leave that alone. Okay, we'll leave that alone for now. Okay, so now I am going to connect these. It's probably better not to because then you can do more with them, but I've already decided to do this, so let's just do it. Okay. Now we start the half auras on the inside. And you can start anywhere and you don't even have to do them in order. I just, it's easier on my brain if I do it this way. And I love adding this tangle to my giant collage because I've used so many orbs this week. I guess the last two weeks. So many orbs filling in extra areas. And I just love the way circles look on these larger pieces. And after I get that first round done, I just get to go back and start doing second rounds, but anywhere I want. And by changing up which ones you do, you end up having such a fun overlapping look that doesn't necessarily flow perfectly. Things just kind of look like they're bumping into each other, and I love that look about this one. Lots of go behind. All right, obviously I'm going a little bit fast. I like to do these teaching videos in 10 minutes just so you've got time to watch me and then play and do stuff on your own. I'll just keep on filling these in. I'm not going to worry about ones that would maybe come out on the other side. We'll just do these. Okay, that actually fit in there pretty well. I like that. Okay, so that is Lolly Wimple. And then some fun things you can do with it. You can fill in any of these circles with some accents. You could also do a spiral if you wanted to. Like how that kind of continues that rounded line look. Um, you could fill some in and give them that dramatic darker look. You also could, if you wanted to, continue to aura some of them on the opposite side. You also could drop those lines down and do something fun. I don't know, I'm just making that up, but it looks like curly hair. But you know where that arch comes down? You could do some little fun things like that. Maybe I'll fill in these just with some auras. 
It kind of mimics slide hat. Okay, so another cool one where she, let's see if I'm gonna be able to do it. She kind of came down, so like here's my arch over that circle. Let's come down and do something fun like that and then go up and do the next one. Remember, these are all just the start of something, and then you get to change it up, add your own special touches. I literally have no plan. I'm just adding some orbs and some lines. So still Lollywimple, but you can do some fun, different things with it. So I've got the space now to fill in. I've gone over my 10 minutes, but so I've got these empty spaces here. So I'm going to aura a couple of them. And then I'm going to fill in some empty space with just some black ink to separate them. You know, just to kind of give a little bit of space between. Okay. And whenever I add these little orbs and auras in darkening, it just sort of ties all of those together. Isn't that cool? I like how that fit in there. As far as shading, we don't really have much time, but you can take some of these larger ones and where they overlap a smaller one, put a little bit of graphite in and push it around. See how that makes it look like it's going over the other ones? So this one here goes over some, this one goes over. You can just pick some of those larger ones and that little bit of shading makes those kind of pop out. You can also take your tortillon where it's already a little bit dirty and you can do some of the orbs, give them a little bit of darkening to kind of round them out. Okay, I'm going to keep on playing with that. Have fun. I hope you enjoyed Lollywimple. See you tomorrow.